Hey there, everyone, this is Al Galvin Spyro, and, uh, did I do all the levels in, like, the pre-ladder era? I'm not sure, I don't really remember this map all that well, but I'm sure if I miss something, I'm gonna go and find it some other time, like, that's fine. Yeah, this is where I had to learn how to ladder, and then you don't really use that afterwards at all inside the level. It's a big old key. Well, there's an opening there. Okay, what's this level about? It's Scorched! That sounds like a boss level, but I hope it is. Because, no, yeah, that's when you get all the talismans. So it's just a place named Scorched. Look at that, it's a desert. It's very sandy, very yellow. If you want to play in a pile of cinnamon. You got just, like, actual humans here? Okay. They're just exactly jar-shaped. There's a candy. Air candy. Uh-oh, he's gonna eat it and transform into a spider. I think I saw that thread. Uh, or not. Alright, I guess it was a trap. That was confusing. I'm gonna burn your flag. Hello, Hope you don't Spyro. mind, Greta. My brother Handel and I have been sent here to blow up this castle. Handel got caught. Wait, wait, who sends children to blow up a castle? Okay. Just kind of adding to the fact that, uh, Avalon, kind of the worst place in existence, possibly? You just got, like, outright child soldiers here. Like, honestly, I feel like what Spyro's plan should be is concentrate on getting, look at that camel, though. Is that an enemy? Well, I guess it is. All right, that makes me sad, but here we are. Um, should be, like, focus on getting all the green orbs to power up the portal. And then just, like, get, like, you know, get Sally and the fairies and the professor, I guess. And I guess maybe Hunter, if we feel like it. Oh, he's got a gun. To just go back to Dragon World. Like, sure, it's a world of dragon tyranny, but at this point, I feel like that's probably still better than whatever Avalon has to offer. Um, apparently, so the story goes that they record a whole bunch of lines from Princess Sally explaining that all this conflict and nonsense is happening due to Ripto's influence, but they're not in the game. So I just kind of have to take at face value what the game presents, and it's not there. The game presents just a world that is just kind of real bad news, and you know what? Maybe Ripto should just keep it. Alright, I'm gonna press the button. It's gonna raise this flag. That's right. Yo, check it out. Oh, that's how you open the door. It's a lot less exciting than I thought you'd have to find like a, a super booster, then you run through it, you know, you barge on through. As you do. Is that a snake? Okay, snake is healing, got it. Food in a basket, running in circle. That guy's got a sword, it's pretty wow, that guy's got a gun. Whoa, incredible. <laughs> I don't know, so like after the strangeness I felt with some of the earlier levels, I'm feeling a lot of these World 2 levels just feel a lot more classic Spyro-y in a way that I enjoy, except, uh, there's a cat there. Uh, I should probably speak to him. These monkeys are throwing coconuts. That's the kind of thing they do. Why are you holding a barrel, Hunter? Monkeys have escaped from the Avalar oh, Zoo. Okay. Sent here to it's Avalar, not Avalon. They keep Sorry. Throwing coconuts at me and it hurts. Uh huh. Me out. Why are you whispering? Great. Just charge the tree before I get hit. Uh, I'll be able to catch the monkeys as they fall. Okay. Follow me. This is really weird. But I guess that's what we're doing now. So you're gonna run off to a tree. And then, then we do that. Okay. Da -da. I get it. So I just need to know what tree you're gonna decide to venture at. And then, I guess I got it. That was really weird. Alright. Um, this is happening, I guess. I don't know. Don't ask me. Alright, you're going here. Got it. There you go. I keep getting hurt. I'm gonna die, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. There is no try. There you go. Filled up your barrel of monkeys. Thanks for your help, Spyro. No Please, problem. Take this. One of the monkeys had it. Wow. Uh, incredible. One of the monkeys had it, huh? 
Hunter, the cat. Your head is like bisected. It's super weird. Nor monkeys. They had tails. I'm pretty sure I didn't look at them very hard. I might have lost my spark due to monkey interactions. That's fine. I'll find a small animal to mangle, which will bring my bring my servitor back. See right there. Small animal. Did it. Alright, where are we at? I don't know. Does it matter? Not really. Alright, burn a camel. Sure, why not? That's what we're here for. Oh, that guy is very good at aiming a sword. Now I got a soul. Sword for a soul. That's what they always say back in the crusade. There you go. I knock you over. Alright, I gotta raise a flag. That's how we just solve conflicts here. Raising flags. Oh, that sounds kind of bad, actually. Alright, so, go here, whoosh, there we go, burnt up camel. That's just like, I don't like that, though, like, hurting animals like that. Ooh, what's with you? I need to find, like, a missile somewhere. Oh, my butterfly, my guy, is not golden yet. There we go. Thank you. Alright, there's the button. And that's gonna raise the flag somewhere. I might as well just do it now. Use fire breath to press a button. It's the only way to go. I'm not seeing a missile here, so it's gonna be somewhere, and that's gonna bust open that block with it. Or I'm gonna learn a, an ancestral power that will let me destroy it one way or the other. I'm not too worried yet. Hey, go through this door. Some guys have swords, some guys have guns. It's not, it's not exactly equal here. That camel, very dangerous. Had to be set on fire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. all right, there's a little little bomb action falling from the tree there. That guy's gone. There is no more. Like, these poor dudes. Like, they're trying their best. But it's just, their best is not very good. Not if your opponent is a dragon. They're just not ready for... Well, to be fair, I am an invasive species, so to speak. Like, I am not of this world. Alright, let's go down this basement next to Toxic Moat. Where else do you want to hang out when you're visiting this place? Not the Middle East. Uh, Alright, this was the little area here where you go down the steps and there's toxic sludge everywhere. Don't worry about it. Hey, uh, that's a snake. I don't need to destroy you yet. Uh, so I feel like I want to finish this up here before I go further in those caves. Okay, so you go here and that probably like goes there? Maybe, probably. Did I get that gem? No, Spark didn't get that gem. Wait, well, look at that, it's all the gem colors, all in a row. We've achieved some form of perfection. Alright, violence is happening here, that's pretty cool. There you go, you're dead, you are gone, we don't need you anymore. Gonna press a button! Yeah, flag zone! Hey, drawbridge. It's when uh, you draw the line, uh, then the bridge happens, and here you find one up. So, see, this would be perfect place for a missile to blow open that box, but I'm not seeing any yet, so, okay, fair enough. So, that door is open now. What if I want to go here? That's where I went to before. Alright, so I saw this, but I didn't go further because I, I'm gonna... Oh, but here you got some wind picking up there, leading to something. Alright, what's going on here? It's just all the TNT barrels, huh? Alright, you know what? Let's just kind of let that happen. There we go. Let's just say, hey, check it out. We got all this dynamite rigged up here. No on these bottles everywhere, don't worry about it. It's all for show! And then I got the prize. I don't know what it is. It's ill-defined. De and that also... Whoa, shoot. Well, alright, I don't know. This just kind of leads here. Strange place that doesn't need to be... Okay, I see. And that's how you would get back there, possibly, if you didn't have the drawbridge bridged. Maybe. Oh my gosh, someone left these barrels here. These baskets. And now they're all over as a little body. It's like, check it out, it's me. And it's, yeah, I checked it out. It was you. Can declare. Sure there's a lot of enemies here, though. Like, in terms of just like, like, yeah, I'm at 22 souls now. And like, you know, a lot of them actually actively try to attack you. That's almost new. 
All right, where am I? <laughs> no, good question. Oh, there you go. Somehow you didn't get me. There you go. You can see the soul fly away. A beautiful sight if you're an absolute monster. It turns out Spyro might be. All right, hey, here's the end of the level. I don't know if I found your sibling or whatever, but I have killed a lot of guys. Yeah, we didn't blow anything. That guy shot me, and I mean, he did. He struck a blow, but then just stood there and yucked it up instead of, you know, doing anything about it. Not realizing that a single bullet versus a dragon, even a younger version of one that just won't do much in the end. But hey, you know what? People are dumb. That happens. It's not their fault. Oh, here's a, a brother of some kind. Okay, maybe I should speak to her then, just in case. That's me. I disagree. Okay. I hate everything about you. How about that? But here's the Scorch Talisman. It's a bug. It's like a... It's Gold needle. All right, burn your flag though. Hope you don't mind. That's just a thing I do, because you know you have to understand. I pledge allegiance to no one but myself. Here's the fire spell. That's how you open up that one box, for what it's worth. Hey, buddy. Hey, Spyro, we need Handle. Those flags to prove our secret mission was successful. Uh huh. Flag keeper keeps stealing them. Okay. If you knock the flag keeper down. You could bring the flags back. Who's the flag keeper? All right, shoot flag keeper off flagpole, and that's a high rank mission. All right, well, um, I don't know what I'm doing. There's a door here. Okay, that just let it lets us go back here. Are you the flag keeper? No. All right, where's that box I want to open up before I do anything else? All right, I did it though. As far as I'm concerned, mission accomplished. All right, I just need to pick all those up. Flag keeper. Like, I don't know what that means is the issue. All right, let's see if I can... Also, I'm missing two gems somewhere. Where? Where are those two gem sparks? Because, oh, that's a bother. Okay, so that's probably around... Okay, so I let... I think I let Spark lead me astray, and it's more around the... Place where handle is. Somewhere around here? Oh, yeah. That one gem in the corner. Just. I missed you, buddy! Alright. What's a flag keeper? And. Um, what's a flag keeper? I don't know. We gotta find them and destroy them, whatever they are. On top there, maybe? Yeah, okay. Maybe? Did I destroy it? I'm not sure. Like, it's hard to parse. <laughs> Yay! So I killed one of them. Okay, now he's on the ground. So, uh -huh. you want that flag, eh, dragon? I guess. I can play at this bombing game. Okay. Go. What are we doing? So, wait, what's happening now? Do I have the flag? I got the flag. Uh, what? What's happening? Okay, bring it on. So, like, so, don't get bombed. I'm not sure what's hap- uh, uh, maybe it's just a pursuit? Ah! Maybe, maybe it's just a pursuit, and I'm just like super overthinking it. Okay. Maybe. Whoa. Nice aim there, buddy. Ugh. Okay, then he's up there, and he threw the flag there, he just kind of chucked it. While he's flying around like that, dizzingly. still two flags out there! Okay, so do the equivalent of that for all the flags. Okay. I can't look that high? Spyro, you have a neck? So like, you have to hurry. 
get all the way here so you can go here and shoot him and accidentally hit the fairy's hitbox instead. Alright, okay. Hey, buddy. We're gonna pursue you now. Yeah, Bombo. Yeah, five star. Here we go. I mean, that's kind of neat. Like, it's a, it's a nice little path, and it's essentially identical to the one I just made, actually. But, like, the fact that my price is to just keep trying, like, that's fine. I don't know, like, how it aims? Like, it seems to try to anticipate where I'm gonna be. So, like, you can kind of juke it. I don't know if there's a speed aspect to it. Like, I'm going out of my way to, like, charge because it's fun. But I don't know if it's necessary or if I'm making things harder on myself for no reason. You're so close, I'm so close. I realize I kind of speed through a lot of text, don't let them speak. I, most of the time, it just doesn't feel very important. I'm sorry. Alright, so, uh, part of me is like, maybe I should have actually looked where I could go to hit the last flag, but... I mean, since I'm there already, might as well wing it. Because, yeah, you're gonna have to be here. Oh, I might have made this harder on myself than necessary. Come on, hit him! Yeah! There we go. That's why I didn't bother. We you did it. Get my last flag so oh, it's the same guy all the time? Beast. Why do I thought it was a different one? I don't know. I'm the purple beast! That's me! Alright, now we do that again, except this time... There's like... This little extra bit of land to cover. <laughs> this is really silly. <sighs> again, like... You could just, just have done this once, I feel like. It goes back to this weird thing that I don't know about this game, where... The things are still there. It's still Spyro, you know, at its core. But there's a, just a sense of busy work sometimes. Sometimes. Great I don't know. Job, Agent I did it. How can we repay you for your efforts? Give me a How green thing. That I found in the sand? Wow, good thing you found it in the sand. Otherwise, I could never go back home. <laughs> Like, that's kind of the weird thing, like, they find these in the weirdest places, but if they didn't, like, how would my path back home go? I mean, you're not really supposed to think, whoa, the way those letters were just kind of appearing, they weren't really sure about themselves. Uncertain text. Hey, and I left these two children in this enemy base. I thought I slaughtered everyone, but I guess I didn't. Oh, they're demons, actually. I mean, totology, but fair enough. They were never in danger, it turns out. Spyro just stucks in face into things that he doesn't get. His life story. And there we go, did it. And that was Scorch, the land of the beetle. What does this world look like? Still got four levels to find. <laughs> this is a beefy place. It's going quick enough, I think. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, swimming textures. Oh, I love it. I love it! 